Hello everyone. Today we're going to see how to use Jira tool for product owner, especially for beginners. It's really easy. We're going to go step by step and it's going to be just the fundamental sections and the fundamental functionalities. So as you see, I'm in the backlog section. I've created three sprints and I've created some of the stories. I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. You can for your uh, sprints, you can plan it here in the backlog section. You have the button create sprint. You're gonna just you're gonna add it automatically, or you can edit it by yourself. And here you're gonna go here, edit sprint, and you're gonna add whatever you want. For example, for me it's gonna be sprint for 2019. Now, as you see, I have four sprints and I have several items in my backlog and to create your backlog you go in this section you create issues type of your issue here I'm gonna choose a user story and I'm gonna call it story file create video and press enter now, as you see, I have my story in the backlog. Now we've created the sprint, we've created issues in the backlog. That's the main ones to do when you want to start in Jira. Then you can drag and drop your issues. For example, I'm going to take my story one and put it in sprint one. I'm going to confirm the second one or the third one since I don't have a second. Confirm. I'm gonna take the test also, I'm gonna put it in here, and the book. Click in here, and then as you see, that's the issue that I have my current print. To see your current print that you've programmed, go to Active Sprint, and here he's gonna show you all the items that you have that are open. It happens that I've dragged and dropped some of the previous issue and I'm gonna show you why it didn't show for example for the other user stories. Now if you go see the story number one, the statue is in progress, we can change it to to do. That's the main statue. You can add the description as a product owner. I need my form to be like something and you add all the details that your developer need. You're gonna save and assign it to one of your team or the person that's gonna develop this functionality. The label, you can add a label or not, but it's really important if you want to use the reports in the report section, it's gonna filter like very great if you do it. The story points is the story that you need to add in the sprint planning so you will have the capacity of your team. For example, this one will be three points. The sprint that we're gonna develop this functionality is in the sprint one, Q1, priority is medium. You can change it to high and you can show more. For example, the one that I always use is fixed version, is your release. When it's gonna happen this one also is really great if you want to manage and have visibility of your sprints and for your release also you can add comments if you have any question or any member of the team needs any uh, additional information here also you see there is some of the options you can add screenshots uh, like attachments or whatever you want here you can create a subtask it depends on how you manage your uh, Jira or Active Sprint. You will have subtags as you manage them in Jira. You can link issues, and this one is really interesting because, for example, to test this story, you need a test case, and the test case is a type on finish you. So, for example, if you create, you need to create the test test apart and then link it by here. You choose tests and you call your test which will be, should be 
already created. For example, we're going to just add this account and link it. Now you will see that the user story is covered by this test case. Uh, what can I show you again? Yes, the bugs. The bugs are really important also. I'm going to show you if your user story has I mean, so many bugs, it will test or not. And yes, for this one also, it's the second one in progress. You find all the fields in all the issues. It depends on how you do the configuration of your Jira and for your tickets. Now we go to Active Sprints and here you will see that we have all the sections and now we have, yes, I have some filters which means we didn't see anything and now that I've cleared them we can see all what we have. For example, we have this user story is in to do, this one in test, in dev and nothing in test yet. For example, we can put this one in test or yes, this one also. Normally, tests shouldn't appear in your active sprint because an activity aside, but it's up to you to manage it how you want to do it. Uh, in the report uh, section, it's a very important one for you. Here you need, you manage to see all the burn chart, uh, burn up, burn down, sprint reports, it's very important to this one. Uh, it gives you a visibility of your sprints, the story points, uh, the statues, uh, what's been completed, what is done, what is opened, like the whole visibility is a visibility on your sprints. The release part is you can create a version name release 2.0 dates you can choose whatever you want and save it and for example show you the one that i've already started now you can see that all these user stories are in this release and was covered by this test campaign for release also yes in if you go to the backlog you will see a little tag with the release which means you have a visible sheet also here you see here you have the release 1101. So, yes, you can also go to the old issues and my open issues. It's a filter that you can create, it. just click on an advanced search. You will have a list of all the issues, and then you can create your proper filter. For example, you want to see all the stories and bugs that are in statue in progress and to do and assign to current user or not. It's up to you. But for example, if you want to see like in a daily basis what are the issues that are assigned to you, you can go here and click on current user. Then here you have more possibilities, like for the affected version, if you like need to prioritize and you want to focus in, for example, this release or just both of them. And yes, here it's not well set up, so you go just in here, you say save as and put my daily filters or issues. Submit and you will see it in here. So every day you just can go to issues and filters and made the issues and you have a visibility on all the coverage or all the issues that are assigned to you. So yes, that is that for the dashboards. How you can do it? For example, by default you will have the assigned to me dashboard. You will see all the ones that are assigned to you, the projects that you are in lead on and activity stream, everything that's happening. You can also add some other uh, dashboards. You can just go to here, create a dashboard for example. This one be like for the team, team dashboard, 
blank dashboard already default I'm choose blank and create you can share it also and here you have add new gadgets you have a lot of gadgets in here you can create it for test coverage for test list requirements test execution test plan just for everything so yes you can load more of them like I don't know why you always have this problem but yes you have the active streams you have a lot of them sometimes this one is working sometimes not and yes pie chart this one is really nice for example i'm gonna go and see the filter that i've created most of these gadgets working with filters so like make sure to create good filters so to have a nice one like my daily issues for example i'm gonna just choose this one and you can filter by whatever you want assign sprint yes for example, I'm going to choose base print. Save, and now we have none. I'm going to try by another one. If we do, for example, issue type, this one should be nice. Yes, now we have 100% stories because remember in our filters it showed all the stories that are assigned to me. This one is for saying how many days are still for my sprints to finish. Now I'm gonna just add the show board and for due time for sprint one. I'm gonna save it. And he says, it's still mine, days remaining for the end of my sprint. And this dashboard is really nice for all the team to use it, to have a visible team of the stories, of the progress of their work as a team so yes that's what i'm gonna show today for a product owner next time i'm gonna show for scrum master and for the testing team so see you next time ciao